Hi, I'm Deidre Ward. I stand five feet nine, I weigh 145 pounds, and I'm represented by Pastorini and Bosby in Houston, Texas. As the appointed hour of the execution approached, a crowd, which had already swelled to about 3,000 people, started to shout in a fever pitch, a hideous screeching howl. Bang! 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 As if theatrically tied, I was delivered to them on cue. At 12 noon by the city officials who tied me to the stake, where I began to plaintive, plead my case, my innocence, as I was slowly being burned alive, my body was being skinned with knives, scorched with hot bread and as I, the fire began to completely envelop me, I continued to protest my innocence until it claimed my tongue and took the final breath from my body. In the crowd, a father hoisted his five-year-old daughter up on his shoulders and Proudly boasting. Hey, Chipre, I got her all dressed up in her Easter Sunday best. This is her first knitting lynching. Nearby, an eight year old girl could be heard repeatedly asking her mother, I saw them burn the nigger, didn't I, mama? Her mother responded, as matter of fact as if she See them burn a pile of trash. Seventeen-year-old boy, oh, loudly exclaimed, "This is my third needle I hope to participate in many more." This is how the word "nigger" got its power, its awesome ugliness. It's insidious ability to maim the body, soul, and spirit of the black man, woman, and child. I need final rest. Bizarre, deliver me justice. I need to sleep. Since you have asked 
ask me not to bring it when I'm gone. Take it to Hank Graham at the law office and he'll handle everything. Well, there you are. <laughs> Do you know what that's like? Hmm. To have all your senses removed? Hmm. Not being able to see, to hear, to smell, to touch, to taste. I am old, Yolanda. My desire dulled. My feelings have been crusted over with memories mm -hmm. of what could have been. But here I am, <coughs> talking about me again. And you would think that I would know by now that you don't want to hear about me. <laughs> I think I have a bit of tea. That's what I think. Miss Otis says that green tea will help. You know what? <laughs> I think she's right. May I have a bit as well? Of tea. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a bit of tea with me? Yes, yes, mother. Uh -huh. I want to have a bit of tea with you. Okay, but you must be patient with me, Yolanda. It may take a while for me to find another cup. <laughs> Jesse, your brother's gonna be just fine. 
any minute now that doctor's gonna walk in here and tell you your brother's gonna be just fine. Well, I'm gonna ride my sister Clara through and take her this blanket. Ooh, her big old pretty eyes just gonna light up. What do you think? Hmm? Can't you just feel the love in this blanket? It's nice, nice indeed. Er, uh, paint. I could be a mess too. <laughs> Lots of sparks left in this old furnace. <laughs> Anything I don't have, I can buy. <laughs> the last hog I sold bought me these here boob lifters. <laughs> oh, I am proud of these things. Take them out at night, sit them on the dresser. <laughs> and the next morning, they sit right there waiting for me smiling. <laughs> A damn stove a woman sagging everywhere. <laughs> Except up <the> here. <laughs>